Since we're all competing against the user's 8 second attention span, our stores need to be engaging and efficient. Capture leads, communicate free shipping threshold, or make store-wide announcements. You need a great looking and modern way to let customers know right away that something important is going on in your store. You are able to, for example, highlight a recently released product, link to your most recent blog post, advertise a special promotion, or let users know you have a weather delay or holiday hours. Oh, and coronavirus updates are important as well. The Vitals Announcement Bars app is fully customizable and it easily allows you to make announcements, keep your customers in the loop and grow your email list. Let's see it in action. There are five types of bars available in the app. A text bar that's used for announcements, a free shipping bar that uses geolocation to let customers around the world see how much they need to spend in order to get free shipping, an orders counter bar if you want to brag about how many orders you've received, a countdown timer bar to let visitors know when your offer will expire, and an email capture bar to offer discounts in order to capture more leads. Let's say I want to create a simple text bar. I click on it and I'm taken to the customization page. First, I can set the bar name. This is the name that will appear in the list of announcement bars in the main dashboard. The name of the bar is only visible to you, so make sure it's something easily recognizable if you want to come back to it later. Next, we have the message. This is the actual announcement that will show up on your store. You can also select one of the 12 predefined themes and also customize the look of it, as well as its position. These customization options are standard and available on all types of bars as you'll see soon. Now let's try a free shipping bar. So I'll click on create smart bar, select free shipping and I'm taken to the customization page. What's different about the free shipping bar is the text. You have three different texts the bar can show to your visitors. The initial message, where you let people know about free shipping. The progress message, that will show up when the visitor has an item added in their cart, but its value is under the free shipping threshold, motivating the visitor to purchase another product to get free shipping. And the goal achieved message, when the value of the items added in the cart has passed the free shipping threshold. Obviously, you can change the wording of the messages to whatever you'd like, but please be aware that you need to keep the amount syntax intact. You might wonder where you should add the free shipping threshold. Not on our app, as it's designed to get the shipping information directly from Shopify. And given that we have access to all your shipping rates, we are able to use geolocation and show the corresponding threshold to visitors across the world. So, in order for this to work, you need to set up your shipping rates, as well as free shipping in your Shopify admin, which you've probably done by now. I'll just open my Shopify admin in a new tab, then go to settings and shipping and delivery. You'll see here that I've already configured three shipping rates. And let's check them out. We've created three shipping zones for Europe, North America and the rest of the world and added for each of them both a paid rate as well as a shipping rate when a certain amount is spent. As you can see here, all the rates are price based. Our app will not work for weight based shipping rates. At the same time, the app supports custom shipping profiles in case you have different rates for specific products. Coming back to vitals, down below as I've mentioned there are similar settings between the bars. The bar name, themes, position, font family and colors. Let's leave the settings unchanged. Create the bar, enable the app and explore the store in an incognito window. You'll see here the shipping bar and if I'm adding a product to the cart, the bar will take its cost into account and let me know I'm still this amount away from getting free shipping. Once I add another product to the cart, the bar will congratulate me for being eligible for free shipping, increasing the conversion rate. Returning to vitals, the next type of bar is orders counter. Again, same customization settings as before. Pay attention to the message, as we have another syntax that needs to be left unchanged. Your total orders count is grayed out, as the info is pulled directly from Shopify admin, and it will only show the real number of orders. Moving on, the countdown timer bar. Exactly the same customization options as the other ones, with a small difference again to the text. Another syntax present, so don't touch that one. And you can set the start and end time for the countdown. Don't forget to pay attention to the time zone. Lastly, the email capture bar. The difference here is the coupon that you need to set up beforehand. Just like the free shipping bar, you have a direct link to where you need to create the discount code in Shopify admin. 
Once you've done that, add the coupon code name in this field and customize your message without touching the syntax. All emails captured will be sent directly to your Shopify admin. If you're also using Klaviyo or MailChimp, you can connect them via the integrations menu and the emails will be sent there as well. Once you're done setting up your bar, all you have to do is click save and go back to the main dashboard and activate it. As you can see, I already have a bar created and you also get some information about it. The name of the bars, so that you can find and identify them easily, the type, status if they're active or inactive, and you can actually toggle them on and off, and the date the bar was created. Please remember that at the moment only one app can be active at a time. In the app's main dashboard, there are a couple of general settings that you need to have a look at. First, you need to decide if you'd like to offer the visitor the option to close the announcement bar. The other setting is to enable CAPTCHA. This is mainly for the email capture bar. We use Google's reCAPTCHA to ensure that the people browsing your store that would like to take advantage of the discount you're offering are real and not bots. And lastly, you have the translations section. Like with all Vitals apps, you have the option to change the text into your store's language. And that's it for the Vitals Announcement Bars app. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we post new videos every single week. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and see you soon.